hello everyone welcome to your brains and this is Naveen uh, in the last video we see the last solution of warm-up one so we have already finished the warm-up one and now my plan is to start warm-up two okay let me click on this warm-up two okay so in this we have some several questions now let's start with the first question let me open this string times okay fine let's see so here this is the method they're given and the question will be like this given a string and a non-negative integer so written a larger string that is n copies of original string so they have given a string and one non-negative integer so see they have given a string and one non-negative integer n and written a larger string of n copies of the original string so it means uh, just see the test cases they given the high and two uh, if they give two it means the high to be repeated two times and if they give three the same string whatever they have given it has to re repeat for three times they give one for one time so the story is whatever the number they given you have to repeat the same string those many times so how you write two times and three times dynamically so this is what the n number right uh, you can do a for loop you can just loop it starts from one to uh, this number and for every iteration you have to add up or append or concatch the same string to itself and the final string has to be written okay so what i'm saying is if i say a comma 3 okay a is the string and 3 is the number so you have to repeat the a to be three times and then i say a b and two times so what do you do a b a b and you must not give the space because see here no space okay don't give the space and one last thing they say test comma one so don't repeat only just test okay fine so you have to write a test case i mean you have to write a logic for this so three means you just have to write a for loop up to the last number called n and every iteration just add up to the same string and return okay so the logic goes to be uh I'll do one thing. I just simply copy this function or method. Go to my Eclipse. Uh, yeah, here. So here we have what warmup one dot Java. So okay, we have done this. So now let me create because we have moved to the next uh, part of this uh, Java programming. So I just create new Java Java class. Okay, let me just select the package right click new class this is i give the name call warm up two underscore two okay so i just select the public static void main and click on finish okay so my java class has been created and now here let me copy this and back to here and paste okay so write the logic so what we have to do we have to loop this number with the for loop and add up to the new string so what we have to do let's say i just take a temporary string okay temporary string is equal to some empty string okay and now let me write a for loop so for let uh, you can start with i is equal to zero and i less than n or else i equal to one your wish okay n n times should be so it's not let it is integer so integer i is equal to zero and i less than n i plus plus okay now here let me zoom this okay so 
we just loop it and every time we need to add the temporary string with the string so you can just simply add the temporary string is equal to the temporary string plus str okay and then return temporary string okay so what i'm doing here is i'm just looping as per this number and first time the temporary string is empty so for that empty string i have taken the empty string c for suppose i equal to 0 okay first time i equal to 0 for that temporary string is equal to the empty string plus my string okay in the next iteration the same temporary string i mean is already having one string uh, add up to the one more time and next iteration one more time next iteration one more time so like that up to the end okay and here one thing you have to understand here is i start with zero so that's why i made i less than n okay if you start with one you can go for less than or equal to n okay so that's, that's have to that you have to know down and the same temporary string is keep on add up with the new string and that temporary string i just written back okay and let me just copy this go to here and let me just uh, paste it and click on go yes all success uh, one more thing here see temporary string is equal to the temporary string plus str you can just make a shortcut for this what is that is see if any variable which is equal to the same variable plus something or multiplication whatever so temporary string is equal to temporary string plus str the same thing you can just rewrite as shortcut like this temporary string plus is equal to str is nothing but temporary string is equal to temporary string plus str okay so that's like a shorthand math okay you can even do this a shortcut copy this back to here and let me paste okay so it is success and you can even see the solution so they write a uh, same solution right but we have taken temporary string and they have taken the results okay fine uh, now we can see you can just pause the video to see the solution and please practice okay so thank you so much for this video and we'll see the next questions in the next video thank you